The best practice for creating data views is normally to use assets, but sometimes you may need to use streams directly, and this will be covered in this video. For more information on creating data views from assets, see the additional resources section at the end of this video. The goal of this video is to learn how to create a data view using streams, and particularly using streams with metadata. We will demonstrate this in a series of steps. The first step will be to understand the streams that we're going to use, and then to sketch the end goal. For this we will view an example of what we're trying to achieve. Then, we'll create the data view from the streams without the metadata. We will realize that the data view cannot be formatted in the desired format. Next we'll need to add streams metadata in the background. Finally, we will review the modified streams with the metadata. And then recreate a data view with the same streams. But using the metadata to apply the desired format. So the actual format we're looking for is what we see here. We have different tire presses that are grouped by row. The different columns represent the stream data for the presses. We have three sites and four presses per site. And for each equipment item, we have a curing phase, main clock, and mold temperature. Now we are going to Aviva Data Hub. We can see the streams that we are interested in under Data Management in Sequential Data Store. We are going to use a filter to find the streams of interest. All our streams have a name prefix of adh.dv. Then we can see that we have three streams for each equipment, curing phase, main clock and mold temperature. These streams are coming from a Pi system, but they could be coming from another data source. If we select one of the streams, we can see the related metadata. In this case, the metadata is minimal and comes from the Pi to Data Hub agent. More metadata will be added later, but the steps for that are out of scope for this video. The next step is to create the data view using our streams. Click on Analytics, then Data Views, and click on Add Data View. Let's name the data view, stream data view, no metadata. The next step is to create a query to select only the streams of interest. We can rename this query as stream query one. The query type should be streams. The query value to use depends on the streams to select. In our case, we can simply search for the prefix of the stream's name. We should find only 36 streams. Once the query is completed, we need to select Save. This takes us to the window for adding the data fields. So in this case, we want to display the value for each of the streams. We need to scroll down in the field list to select value. We should also mention that the stream name is already included. We can see this by selecting the Show Included Fields checkbox. Now that we have all the useful fields selected, let's click on Apply. Next, let's review the output we obtain in the preview. The format could be problematic because each stream has its own group. The reason for this is that we're grouping by stream name and not by equipment. We do not have a field to enable the grouping by equipment and by site. Another problem we notice from the preview is that the value column is just labeled value, and this is not specific enough. In order to group the stream by equipment and to create different columns for different measurements of each equipment, we need to add metadata to our streams. We should use the metadata as grouping and identifying fields. For clarification, grouping fields can be used to group related data together in the data view. Identifying fields can be used to uniquely identify each field within a group. Now, we are going to cancel out the view configuration. Metadata will be added to the streams using a stream metadata rule in the background. For more information on stream metadata rules, see the additional resources section at the end of this video.
Now that we added metadata to our streams, we are ready to create a new data view. But just before we do this, let's look at the metadata that was added to the streams. Click on Data Management, then Sequential Data Store. Let's search for streams by name. Select the first stream in the result set, and then select metadata and tags. We can see that metadata for equipment ID, equipment type, measure, and site has been added. That's all we need to format our data view. Our next step is to create a new data view. Select Analytics, then select Data Views, then click the Add Data View button. Enter a name for the data view, such as Stream Data View with Metadata. Now change the query ID for Stream Query 1. There's only going to be one query in this case. The query type should be streams, because we are creating a data view based on streams. Again, we can search by name to find the streams of interest. We expect to find 36 streams. Now click on Save to select the data fields. So, just like before, the value should be added, otherwise we won't have any stream values to display. But this time, we also need to add some metadata from the streams. Select the following fields. Equipment ID, Equipment Type, Site, and Value. Before clicking Apply, we should have four fields selected. The Measure field wasn't added, because it will be used as an identifying field. Let's look again at the preview. Next, we're simply going to update the start and end index in order to display only one row per physical asset per timestamp. This is for demonstration purposes only. Let's press apply to proceed. We can still see that there are three rows for each physical asset for a given timestamp. This is because the stream names are being used as a grouping field. Each asset has three unique streams, which gives three rows. To solve this problem, we need to make better use of the grouping fields. Let's start by removing the stream name from the grouping fields. In our dataset, to group by physical asset, we need to specify the site, the equipment type, and the equipment ID. These are our grouping fields. Now, let's refresh the preview. For our next steps, our goal is to show only one column for each stream associated with a tire press. We need a way to identify each stream. This is given by the metadata key measure that helps identify the physical measurement for a given stream. Under the identifying field, we are going to select measure and then refresh the preview. The resulting view corresponds exactly to the format we needed. Now that we have this, we can save and close. Our work with the data view is now complete. For more information on data views, see the additional resources in the next section. For additional learning resources, visit docs.aviva.com and search for the guidance on data views or on stream metadata rules. To access additional videos on data views, visit the Aviva Pi System Learning Channel on YouTube. Navigate to Playlists, open the Aviva Data Hub onboarding playlist, then select Creating a Data View in Aviva Data Hub. This completes our video on shaping data views in Aviva Data Hub.